you can access many of Hookmark's commands through its handy Finder extension. Control click on a file in the Finder and you'll see these Hookmark commands such as showing the Hookmark context window where basically all of the actions are available to you. You can also say copy a link to a file. So I've selected a file. I'm going to copy a link to a file and here I'm going to put in my action items. My goal for the week is to finish this paper. Boom, that's done. It's extremely handy to be able to get to a file just by clicking on a link to it. So here in the context of your action items, you can quickly get to that file without having to search. Keeps you in the zone. Hookmark's handy finder extension also allows you to hook files together. So I've selected two files here and I'm going to hook them. So hook the selected files together. So what does that mean? That means that when you invoke Hookmark on either file, whether it's open or from the finder, show Hookmark in the context window, you see a link back to the other file. So you see from this outline file, this bike file, I can get to the Word document in question. So let's prove it. I double click on this file. I've opened it. Let's bring up Hookmark again using Control H. Sure enough, there's a link to the outline. And from the outline, you can get back to the file. So that's pretty cool. Now, even if you were to move this file around, say this bike file into a different folder, it could be anywhere else on the finder. Bring Hookmark up. Let's say we do it this way. And look, this link is still there. Very handy. With Hookmark, you can link files to just about anything, including email. So here's an email from the editor of a book that I'm writing a chapter for. So I'm going to copy a link to that email message. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Finder extension to access the hook to copied link function. So what I've done is here, I've hooked these two items together. And I'll prove it to you by bringing up Hookmark context window here. And notice that there is a link back to the email message. I can double click on the email and poof, it's there. Even if I were to close it, look at this, show the Hookmark context window. Double click on this entry and there it is. Now I can go from this email right back to the paper. I had already hooked this email to other stuff. So here we are, bang, the paper is opened. Now I would like to show you a version of this paper that I've been working on in production fashion. So let's show the Hookmark context window. And you can see that I've hooked this paper to Apple Notes, Elements file, instructions from the editors, the outline, an outline in different form, a PDF version of this, an old version of the paper, a summary, and all these different files. This is a task paper file, which is a list of tasks related to the paper. So that you can see that I can quickly jump from the paper to all these hooked items. If you are a Markdown user, you'll be happy to know that you can even get a Markdown link to files using this command, copy as Markdown links, paste in any Markdown enabled app, paste it here, then you get the Markdown link. So you click on the link here in this app, it brings you right back to the target of the link, which in this case is the paper I'm working on.